Dr. Fizz, theoretical physics, the Pauli equation. The Pauli equation historically was an attempt to include spin in quantum mechanics. The study here of the Schrodinger equation is the study of the electron, and a spin one-half particle. And the Schrodinger equation does not include spin. But we can construct a wave function as a spinner wave function where you have a function here of x, y, and z, t in general, and a function here of x, y, z, t in general, an upper function and a lower function. And that is a spinner wave function. We're going to consider the case where the potential energy is only a function of x, y, and z, so the potential does not have time dependence. Then I can use the time independent Schrodinger equation and the question we ask is, does it make sense to replace the regular wave function with the spinner wave function? Does this make sense? Can this work? Well, if we do that, we see immediately that the potential can take on matrix form with four functions since matrices act on spinners. So with this generalization, I replace the Hamiltonian with this Hamiltonian. This is the Hamiltonian from the Schrodinger equation. I replace it with one that includes the matrices and to have matrix matrix we use the identity matrix here with the Laplacian and this new Hamiltonian when that is used instead of this with a spinner wave function we have the Pauli equation.